Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and to this video where I'm going to test whether the colour of paper that you use really makes a difference to your finished painting. I've done the same painting twice using exactly the same colour palette and the only thing that I've changed is the colour of the paper. So in this video I'm going to discuss their differences and show you why the colour of your paper matters. I hope that you enjoy this. If you do, then please do subscribe here on YouTube. Also hit the little bell button so that you get notified when I create a new video. And please do consider checking me out on my Patreon channel too, where you'll get access to my full catalogue of real-time tutorials and lots more help with Soft Pastel. So the first monkey that I painted is on Sennelier pastel card and this was my black sheet of the experiment. And to contrast that I chose a very warm sheet of yellow coloured pastel mat. They can't be more different, one is light and warm and the other is dark and quite cool. So firstly let's just look at the two paintings side by side. They're pretty similar despite the different coloured surfaces that I worked on. So the first thing that I will say is that soft pastel is a beautifully opaque medium and if you want full coverage you can get it. So even on the light coloured paper it was still possible to make a jet black background as well as all of the dark contrast that you could want on the face. As long as you're using good quality pigments Really, you should be able to go as dark as you want on a light surface and as light as you want on a dark surface. For this reason, I often use mid-tone papers as I love to be able to start in the middle and work my way both darker and lighter within the process. But in this case, because of how dark the overall piece is, I thought that the black paper would be a benefit. So let's now look at the benefits that I found while working on the black paper. Firstly, the black background was easier to create on the black paper. As you might expect, I didn't have as much to do on the black paper, whereas on the yellow paper, I did have to put quite a few layers of black down and really smudge it into the paper before it became solid. So it's not impossible to do, but it was certainly easier to do on the black paper. And there's very little difference between them, although when I take them outside into daylight, I can still see some of the yellow paper shining through in small areas. That's not really a problem, I could always add a bit more black pigment to the background, but this one was definitely done with ease. Next my highlight colours actually went onto the black paper version more easily. Because I had to add more dark pigment on the lighter paper version, that meant that I filled the tooth of the paper a little bit more than I did on this one. So because there's already the darkness of the paper to use as a tonal value, it meant that I could leave lots of tooth on the paper to accept those lighter colours. Whereas with this one, because I had to add all of those darker colours first, it made it a little bit more difficult later on for my light colours to go on top, especially when it came to the details with my lighter pastel pencils. But again, if you're using a good quality paper and you're using good quality pigments, it's still possible. Next. I found it really easy to judge my tonal values on the black paper. Even though I needed to darken the black paper in some areas, most of the time I was able to really use the colour of the paper and then work my way up through the mid-tones and eventually the highlights. It felt like it really made sense to work this way and it was so much fun to see his face loom out from the darkness. So if you're trying to create dark and dramatic, working from the dark really makes a lot of sense. One of the most common problems that I see my students have is not going dark enough in those early layers to create enough contrast. By working on black paper, you're forced to include those dark values. And lastly, I just want to look at the overall appearance and 
glow or temperature of the two pieces. To me, the one on the yellow pastel mat looks a good bit warmer. So even though very little paper actually shines through because I tend to paint quite solidly, clearly the paper colour still makes a significant difference. I tried really hard to use the exact same colours in each place so it's undeniable that the paper itself is having some effect here. So that's another thing to consider when you're choosing the correct colour of paper to work with. Not just how light or dark it is, but also do you want it to have a warming effect or a cooling effect on your finished painting? I've actually got another video all about that, so further help with choosing the right paper colour. I'll put a link to that here in the top right corner. But I hope that you've enjoyed this short comparison between black and light coloured paper. It's hard for me to say which of the two paintings I prefer because they really did turn out very similar, but I know which one I enjoyed creating more. I believe that certain subject matters are perfectly suited to a dark surface and that you'll enjoy creating it so much. That being said, don't be put off by not having a good range of paper colours. You can still get there in the end, as proved by this one. And if you would like to have a go at painting one of these two monkeys, I'll be releasing those next on my Patreon channel. I chatted the whole way through while I worked on these, and I'll be releasing the real-time paint-along demos there very soon. You'll get even more information from those videos all about working on both the dark paper and the light paper to create this and all the different things that I had to do in those two paintings to create similar effects in the end. You'll also be able to download my high resolution photo reference and I hope that you enjoy working along with me. I certainly enjoyed working on this one twice over and it's really helped me to see better now why different coloured surfaces make a difference. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing that too. If you have, then please do subscribe here on YouTube, hit the little bell icon to get notified when I make a new video, and also consider checking me out on my Patreon channel where you'll gain access to my full catalogue. And this catalogue you can now browse in my website library. But thanks very much for watching this and until next time, happy pastling.